Hello and welcome to Rathod's IES. So in this session, we are going to see how to write a mains answer for ethics question. So ethics is very important, right? So it is part of your GS4. So in GS4, you have only one subject that is ethics, integrity and attitude. So this ethics which constitute around 250 marks. So till now in your ethics, the top marks is 162. So there are four papers which will decide your score. The first one is your essay. Second one is your ethics. And third and fourth will be your optional. So in optional you have paper one, paper two, right? So here this paper one, paper two, essay and ethics which constitute around 1000 marks. So even before your prelims, if you prepare these four papers, then 1000 marks will be in your hand. Okay. So what is the top marks in your mains? It will be not more than 970. Yes or no? So here if you are preparing well and if you are having the good grip on this essay, ethics and optional paper, then your name will be there in final list for sure. So believe me and trust me. So if you want to get good marks in your ethics, so here you can get 130 to 160 marks. So this is a very good score in your ethics. So you need to focus on answer writing for your theory part and this case study. So this ethics which includes your theory and case study. So there will be 50-50 percentage of marks for theory and case study. So there will be three types of case studies in your ethics and another will be your theory. So in theory you will be getting 10 marker questions, 50 marker questions like that. So here you have to focus on word limit. So what is important in your ethics is the first one here is if you want you can make a note here. So what is very important in your ethics. So how you have to prepare ethics. So first one here is you have to understand the concept. You have to understand the concept. Here we have to focus on keywords. Okay. So here you have to understand the meaning of keyword. And second one is you have to buy hard definitions. And you have to collect as many examples as possible. So you may get a doubt right. Uh, how can I get examples? So first one is from your real life because directly the questions will be asked in ethics like give your real life example on this so and so keyword and next one is you can collect case studies from newspaper and if you are from philosophy optional you will be getting more advantage so they will there will be you will be studying like different thinkers and their ideology that can be used as examples in this ethics. And one more thing here is you can also need to know about different acts and Supreme Court judgments, even articles which are there in news. So all these things are very, very important, right? So in this way, you have to prepare for the ethics and you can write a very good answer so this approach of writing essay and ethics will not be teach anywhere in that much detail so we are doing in this rathod science academy so now let us try to see how to structure an answer for this ethics question and one more thing i want to say here is so we are starting ethics online live classes course that is for 50 hours of classes of this ethics and there we are covering a to z what you need to know from examination point of view we are covering both theory and as well as case studies so if you are not attending that live we will be also providing you the recorded class there we are also including your mains answering practice for ethics 
and the cost of that course is 4500 rupees and that is going to start it from November 15th. So admissions are going on and you can join that course. So if you have any doubts regarding that course, you can call me on this number 8074765513. And one more thing here is if you are facing problem in mains answer writing from your GS point of view, you can join this mains answer writing that is going to be started from November 13th. Okay, so if you have any queries, you can call me on this number or you can simply text me on this number regarding the details so that I will personally respond to the messages and as well as calls. And if you want to talk to me, you can call me on this number. Okay. So now let us see the question first. So what is the question? So the question is accountability, integrity and transparency. So if you go to the syllabus of this ethics, so you will be seeing these keywords, right? Accountability, integrity and transparency. They are crucial for functioning of civil service. So there is one statement is given. So what is that statement? Accountability, integrity and transparency are crucial for the functioning of the civil service. What ethical frameworks should be implemented in order to achieve these goals? So these are the goals like accountability, integrity and transparency. So they are very important in the civil services, right? Because as a bureaucrat, you will be working on the ground, which is very much near with the public, right? So delivery of service is very important. So how you are delivering the services, how you are promoting good governance, right? So to promote good governance, accountability, integrity and transparency are very, very important. So what is the framework that need to be implemented to ensure accountability, integrity and transparency in the civil services? So this is the question. So we have only one sub question here that is what are the ethical frameworks? So the word limit is 150 words. And one thing you have to remember that should be always there in your mind is. So whenever you are writing answer, you have to focus on demand of the question. So what question is asking about? You should not write what you know. So that thing that you did in your university level or in a graduation, intermediate, SSC, everything that had been completed. But this UPSC is entirely different from that preparation. So you should not go and write whatever you know. So you have to write according to the demand. So here it is not asking about accountability, integrity and transparency. But it is asking about what are the frameworks that we need to be implement. So many students they will be starting with writing with what is this accountability, what is integrity and what is transparency. And you will be reading examples, right? So you will be adding two examples there, two examples here and two examples here. So you will be writing 100 words of accountability, integrity and transparency. But you will be getting nothing, you will be getting zero if you are writing about only accountability, integrity and transparency. And if you are not writing about this ethical framework, so whatever the work that you did in examination hall, it will go in vain. Okay, so for that, if you want to get good marks in examination, first one is you have to read question at least twice. You have to read question at least twice. And you have to identify, after reading question, you have to identify number of sub questions. And you have to think about what examiner want to get from you. So you have to think about what is the demand of the question. So what you need to write. And after thinking all these things, then you have to write answer. So before this, don't start writing answer blindly without reading question at least twice. So it is my suggestion from you, for you, okay? And even you have to see the word limit. So based on this word limit, we will be dividing this into I, B, C. Yes or no? Yes. So now let us structure an answer for this question. So as usual, we will be writing answer in I, B, C format. 
so introduction yes you can write about accountability integrity and transparency but that too in 50 words not more than 50 even if it is possible you can write within 30 words also so within 30 words you can't define accountability you can't define integrity and transparency all so here simply you can write that accountability tra integrity transparency are crucial for functioning of civil service for what for efficient for what for efficient service delivery so for efficient service delivery or you can also add this word called as good governance what is good governance and for efficient service delivery all these three are very important so in this way you can write yes or not you can frame this on site on in the examination hall and body you have to use side headings so here there is only one sub question i said right but normally in questions you will be having two or more sub questions so that time you have to use this sub heading for sure so what sub heading you can use here so you can use ethical framework should be implemented or that's it. it is as simple as that so don't make answer complicated okay so make it as simple as possible like you so in this measures at least write four measures for example there is a need of code of conduct so we need strict laws so if we are violating the laws we need to have strict punishment and there is a need of training training for civil servant how can they maintain transparency and accountability training and you can also add education purpose and you can add act e add even this whistleblowers protection so this whistleblowers are very important to promote transparency anywhere so in this way you can add these four side headings and just explain them if you have any examples so you can write those examples so you will be done with your body and in conclusion you can conclude like so these are very very important now serviceable services and this can be implemented so that we can ensure proper delivery of services like that so if you wrote delivery of service in introduction you can write good governance in end so if you write this good governance introduction you can add this service delivery in conclusion so like that you can conclude the answer so i hope you are getting the points yes or no yes right so in this way you can frame an answer for this question now i hope you are feeling writing an answer which is easy yes or no i want to simplify the process of structuring of an answer now i want to show you one modal answer for the same question that we are providing in this rathod's is academy so let me zoom this so can you see this yes right so this is same question that is accountability integrity and transparency are crucial for functioning of civil service what ethical framework should be implemented in order to achieve these goals so there is also approach which is given in this box so if you want you can see that so in the modal answer you can see the introduction so in introduction it said that accountability integrity transparency are essential for efficient and effective functioning of civil services so without these qualities it is difficult for citizens to trust their government for public institutions to be successful so if any public institutions to be successful we need to develop trust trust between public and government and we have to ensure that these qualities they are upheld ethical frameworks must be implemented and followed so in this way you can write so whatever the thing that you remember from this you can write so in modern answer we have to give some extra content right and in body you can 
write this side heading ethical frameworks to achieve accountability integrity and transparency so first one is code of ethics or code of conduct so here we have to come up with this code of conduct so that we can ensure integrity accountability and transparency okay and next one is policies and procedures so policies and procedures they need to be adopted that will ensure servants they are held accountable and for example we have public service delivery guarantee act so as i said no you need to remember the act so in this way this act will be helpful to give examples and this one is we can focus on training and education for example training institutes of department of personal and training so after you uh, clear this examination you will be going to labasna for training right so that is given by this department of personal training and next one is we can focus on monitoring and review so regular monitoring and review of the civil activities then that will ensure this accountability and transparency and next one is for example online performance monitoring system which had been introduced in india to ensure accountability and transparency and next one is transparency and accessibility so all activities and decisions of civil services they should be made as transparent and accessible as possible so for this we came up with this right to information act of 2005 and next one is we can also protect whistle blowers as well for example we have whistle blower protection act which provides legal protection to this whistle blowers so in this way whenever you are giving anything so try to give the examples so that you will be getting the maximum marks in ethics and in conclusion you can conclude that ensuring accountability integrity and transparency in the civil services that will helps to bring good governance and citizen centric administration so in this way it can build trust between people and government so in this way you can end your answer so i hope you understood like how to how to structure an answer yes if s type one in the comment box so that it will support us and will encourage us to make more such videos and now i will show you one copy of our student okay and the name of the student is vanilla so this is a question accountability integrity and transparency are crucial for the functioning of civil service what are the ethical frameworks so she identified the sub question here so she said only one question that need to address so there is no need of writing introduction so whatever the thing that you are writing in first paragraph that will be your introduction so accountability integrity and transparency are crucial for functioning of civil services for prioritize the public interest and maintaining of honesty in the decision making okay we can accept it so it is a good introduction it is below this 50 words and next if you move towards the body there is no need of writing again body here and she used side heading that is ethical frameworks should be implemented so first one is strong legal framework so can, here you can add for accountability integrity and transparency also that three words can be also added here so first one is there is a need of strong legal framework a robust legal framework is necessary to prevent corruption and malfeasance in the civil services it's a very good point and the legal framework should provide a clear guidance for public officials conduct and define the consequences of unethical behavior that means we is talking about even punishments it is very good but there is no example here so this is a drawback and next one is code of conduct code of conduct it is a set of rules and standards that public officials adhere to yes this is the meaning of this code of conduct and next point here is it provide guidance on ethical behavior and establishes expectations for public officials conduct okay we can consider that 
and this one is third point it is about training and education training and education they are essential to promote integrity in the civil services and even this training will helps to raise awareness of importance of integrity accountability and transparency such that it will promotes a work culture that need to be followed and this one is whistle blower protection so you can add an example of whistle blowers act here so even you can write about training which is given by department of personnel training here right so the drawbacks here is there is no examples but the water the content is given here it is very good and uh, next one is conclusion so there is no need of writing conclusion ensuring accountability integrity and transparency in the civil services can helps to bring good governance and citizen centric administration so it is a well written conclusion yes this is a well written conclusion so this is the one of the answer which is written by our student but the drawback here is only there are no examples so we will be giving the feedback like you have to focus on examples and we will be giving the model answer so that you can you can collect some examples and as well as some other points which we are included in our model answer okay now let us go back so this is our mains answer writing practice course that we are going to be started from november 13th onwards so this is one of the excellent course that i can say so here we are covering entire your gs which includes your paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 paper 4 and even case studies and essay so this is daily answer writing practice course so if you are preparing for 2024 and 2025 daily writing one answer is very much necessary to clear your upsc so answer writing plays a very important because prelims it is just qualifying in nature and interview because of your fear and stage fear sometimes you can lose the marks but here in the mains only only the part that you can perform efficiently so if you have good answer writing practice then no one will stop you so how this program goes so first we will give you the schedule so that schedule you can download from the description box so it is 52 weeks of schedule so we are going to give you the targets we are giving you the weekly targets so based on the tar targets you will be getting daily one question to your mail right so you have to start your stopwatch and you have to write answer for that so and so question so why stopwatch because you have to see what is your writing speed so how much amount of time that you are taking to write an answer you have to know that so for that you have to start stopwatch and you have to write answer so initially if you are a beginner you can take like 25 to 35 minutes of time to write one answer but the target here is within this one year you have to reduce it to at least 10 to 11 minutes so that is also one idea okay and after writing your answer so in that answer you have to mention so what is the time taken and you have to send your answer in form of pdf to our mail id so that we are doing evaluation so the thing that i did now okay the same way the evaluation of your answer copy is done and we will be giving you the detailed feedback and we will be sending your corrected copy to your mail id and you will be checking the feedback and based on the feedback you will be improving and on every sundays we will be having live class from 7 pm to 8 pm so in that class we are going to see how to write an essay and how to answer the case study so we are taking one essay and i will be giving you ideas regarding that essay how to write that and after that i will be giving you some time and i will ask you to jot down the points so after that you have to sit for half an hour and you have to complete that schematic chart and we are also going to see the case study i will be giving you one scenario and we will be having discussions and what are the discussions that we are having in that zoom classes that is two way interaction 
So you have to talk and I will be talking. So we'll be having the conversation. That conversation is also very important for your interview point of view. So for your interview also it is very very important. So in this way this course is at most important and it will build content. It helps you to get answer writing skills and you will be also getting a mentor and you will be getting your answers evaluated and will be having live interactions. You will be also getting communication skills. And even we are focusing on essay case study here. So what are important from your means we are covering everything in this course. So the cost of this course is 8,200 rupees for one year. And if you can't pay this amount in one go, you can pay in two installments. Okay. So if you have any doubts regarding this course, you can call me on this number. That is 8074765513. So I will be answering your calls and I will be giving the reply to your messages on WhatsApp or Telegram. Okay. So that's all. And I want to show you one more thing that is our website. So this is our website Rathod's IS Academy. So this is the home page. So if you are visiting first time for our website, you have to click on login or register and you should click on do not have account and you have to register. Register with your name and mail ID. So after registering, you can now log in with your mail ID and password so here you can see home courses syllabus book list free downloads test series you have to click on courses there you can see course list so these are the wide range of courses that you are offering in Rathod's IES and if you want to watch the videos in your free time so you can log in and you can click on the play course so that three demo videos that you can watch without paying a single penny so here I am dealing with geography and as well as ethics. So this is our main answer writing course. So you can join here. So you can click on this buy course and you can join the course here itself. Okay. So this is about our main answer writing practice course. I wish that you are joining this course and we are going to have a wonderful session for next one year. Right. And if you believe me and if you have trust on me, you can join this course so that you will be getting enormous benefits. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this class. So if you really like this class, hit the like button and don't forget to share this class to your friends as well. And don't forget to subscribe to Rathod's IS Academy. Thank you so much for watching.